and welcome to my 4th of July mat class. So this is for all of you that normally take my Saturday morning mat class or join me on YouTube uh, because I won't be live on Saturday morning this week because I will be driving back from the cabin. So um, I'm joined by my lovely sister-in-law Dixie and my lovely niece, her daughter, Melissa. So both of them have done Pilates in the past. They're not overly experienced with Pilates. They're both very fit. Both were college athletes um, and still maintain really great fitness. So we're gonna go through a mat workout today using a towel. So what you're gonna need to do is find a dish towel or find a small hand towel from your bathroom if you plan on joining us. So let's go ahead and start. Just, um, ladies, why don't you come up to the top of your mat and kind of meet me where I am. We're going to start in our Pilates V, so just make your feet um, into like a shape of a small piece of pie, not like the size of pie we had last night for dinner, okay? And really think about energetically drawing your heels together. We're going to think about the band to start as if it's the rollback bar. So those of you that have been on the equipment in the Pilates studio, you know what the rollback bar is. We're just going to bring the towel down in front of our thighs and I want you to kind of just think about your alignment to start so um, I'm going to take a second and just kind of check out their body alignment and see if I can give them any little tips about their posture or how to stand so we always want to think about drawing in our abdominals right so the belly button goes back towards the spine the shoulder blades are just kind of gently squeezing together so we're not overly trying to pull them in but just a gentle squeeze and think about your tailbone kind of the end of your spine almost kind of floating back as opposed to down towards your heels to start so we're in more of a neutral position your sternum, sternum is lifted and your chin is in a neutral position so I should be able to come around and you could rest your chin on my hand okay so from here let's float the rollback bar or the towel out in front of us so here again, think about just gently squeezing those shoulder blades together on your back. Take a big breath in to prepare, and on your exhale, we're just gonna press down towards our thighs and think about lengthening through our spine. And then on your next inhale, float your arms all the way back up. Exhale, you're gonna press into your thighs, and inhale, float back up. So all I want you to be feeling right now is kind of the backs of your arms engaging, Still thinking about the shoulder blades coming together on your back. And you're growing taller as you bring your arms down closer to your thighs. Just lengthen your spine. Get taller, taller, taller. We'll float it out here. We're going to just hold. We're going to add a little releve so we'll come up onto the balls of our feet. So take a big breath in and on your exhale, press down and peel your heels up. Hold that balance and then set your heels down with control. So it's an exhale to lift the heels, bring that towel down, and inhale to release. Let's do four more. Resist your heels setting down on the mat. Try to keep the heels together the best that you can. Last two. Last one. We're gonna hold up this time, ladies. Just hold it, squeeze those heels together. I want you to just float your arms out in front of you and then give me a little plie with your knees, just a demi plie. Try to keep those heels together and then press back up. Zip up those inner thighs and again, little demi plie. Push the balls of your feet down, draw your inner thighs together and get taller. Two more. Last one. Hold at the top and then set your heels all the way back down and let that towel just come all the way down in front of your thighs. So from here, we're gonna make our way down onto our mat into a seated position. So just the best way that you can, come on down and have a seat on your mat. Okay, and we'll start with our knees bent, okay? So we're gonna start with the knees bent, really trying to hug the legs together. So I want you to just think about having maybe a $100 bill between your knees, okay? and you're gonna to try to hold on to it the whole time. Then we're gonna take our towel again. Try to find that connection to our back so that gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades. Okay, now I'm gonna turn and give you a little bit of a profile just so you can see what I'm doing here. But we're gonna 
start with just some simple lumbar rollback. So I want you to think about trying to keep your chest lifted, not rounding that upper back, but trying to curl from that lower lumbar spine and get as much of your lower back on the mat as you can without letting your feet lift up off of the mat. And then just hold when you get to that point where you're like, I can't go any further. Draw your abdominals down, take a big breath in, and on your exhale, come all the way back up. Okay, let's just do that a couple times. So let's take a big breath in and start to roll it back. Draw your navel away from your thighs. Go to your lowest point until you feel like your feet are gonna come up. Hold there, pull your belly button down even more, and then take a big breath in. Exhale, come all the way up. So let's try that again, okay? So inhale is gonna bring you back. Keep pulling the abdominals down towards your spine. Move, yes from your core. Hold it, and on your next exhale, you'll come all the way up. Let's just do one more like that. Just imagine someone's holding the tops of your feet or like you have a heavy sandbag over them. You know, hold there. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, raise your arms up, and as you come forward, leave them up overhead, bring them back in front of you. Let's move a little bit faster. So we're gonna roll it back and hold. Lift the arms up and come forward. Bring the arms forward, roll it back. Lift the arms up, hold and come forward. Let's do three more. Remember, you can always just stay where we started from. Rolling back. Lift up and hold, come all the way up. Bring those arms back out in front. This time we're gonna roll back and just hold. Get into those obliques. So now, Dixie, you're familiar with this, like you're gonna paddle your canoe, okay, or um, your kayak. You're gonna go to the right and suck. To the left, try to keep squeezing that $100 bill between your knees. To the right and center. To the left and center. To the right. To the left. One more time each side. Right. And left, back to center, come all the way up, bring it up overhead, let's just take a stretch over because we're gonna take that one more time. So just take a little stretch, keep your knees as bent as you need to, and then we'll sit back up and reposition ourselves the exact same way. So again, find that $100 bill between your knees, bring your arms out in front of you, connect your shoulders, and start to move your belly button away from your thighs, roll back, to the lowest part on your lower back that you can come to. This time, let's go to the left. Let's go inhale left, exhale center. Inhale right, exhale center. See if you can keep your hips quiet and move from your center. We're gonna go one more each side. You feeling those obliques, ladies? Hold here, come all the way up, and take a nice stretch over again. One more time, we'll bend the knees. This time, we're just gonna go into some um, roll backs. So we're gonna roll all the way back. This time, you're gonna let your back come all the way under the mat. Reach your arms back, take a nice little stretch, and then peel your head up and come forward. So it's a little bit of a modified roll up. Okay, so let's start arms out in front of us. Take a big breath in to initiate rolling back. Lay out your spine flat on the mat. Reach your arms back and try to keep your ribs pressing into the mat as you reach your arms back. Then arms come overhead, chin comes to chest. Peel up your spine one vertebrae at a time and roll it up. Now, if you were really feeling challenged by this to come up or down, you could put the towel, keep going ladies, we're gonna roll it back on the back of your thighs. Just lay your spine out flat. And then as you come up, you've got that toe behind your thighs and you're pulling yourself up. So if your core was not quite strong enough to get yourself back up, you could do that variation as well. Take a big stretch back, pressing the back of your ribs into the mat. Arms overhead, chin comes to chest, peel up your spine. And we're gonna go for one more here. This is just a warm up for our roll-ups. Coming all the way up. Now we'll straighten those legs out, point your toes, 
pull your inner thighs in nice and tight, and we're going to roll back again. So again, try to move from the lowest part of your back. Try to keep those shoulders connected. Good. Reach the arms back, then bring the arms up overhead. Immediately bring the towel to your thighs. And think about shaving down the front of your thighs and your shins as you round up and over your thighs and take a nice little stretch. And let's just hold the stretch for a second. Flex your feet. See if you can put the towel on the other side of your feet and just give it a little tug, flexing the feet, reaching the heels away to feel more stretch in the calves. And then we'll come up again. So point your toes, sit up nice and tall, and start to roll back. So from the lowest part of your back, you're rolling back, laying your spine out flat. Then you'll reach your arms back behind you. Good, hold their leaps. So what I want you to think about doing is pressing the backs of your ribs down into the mat, which means your arms might have to lift up higher. Yes, so your range of motion might be more limited when you're connected in your rib cage. So now from here, start to roll it up. Arms come up, head, neck, and shoulders. Peel your spine up, one vertebrae at a time. You're coming up and over your thighs for a big stretch. Just put that towel on the other side of your feet again. Pull on it, give yourselves a nice little extra stretch here. Good, and then stack up. This time we're gonna roll down and stay on our mats. So go ahead and just Roll it back. Reach back one more time. Take a big stretch. Try to remember keeping the backs of the ribs pressing down into the mat underneath you or knitting your ribs together towards your sternum. Good. Then we will bring the arms up overhead so that they're directly over your eye. The towel's right over your eyes. And bend your knees. Plant your feet down. Okay, so hug that $100 bill between your knees again, ladies. Find some connection to your shoulders by kind of drawing them together on your mat, on the center of your mat. Now, let's take a big breath in, and I want you to start to think about what your pelvis is doing here. So again, big breath in, get as much air in as you can. On that exhale, knit your ribs together, pulling them together. Do that one more time, and try to keep your pelvis nice and still. So on the exhale, as you knit the ribs, if you draw the navel down, try to keep your pelvis nice and still. We're gonna try to go from a neutral position here with our pelvis. And then on our next exhale, we're gonna imprint our spine. So you'll be tipping your pelvis to imprint your lower lumbar spine and peel up into a bridge. And as you peel up into your bridge, you're gonna press your towel to your thighs and just hold for three, two, one. Exhale, articulate your spine down, raise that towel back up so it's right over your eyes, let your pelvis come to neutral, take a big breath in. On the exhale, imprint your lower lumbar spine, curling the tail to peel your hips up into a bridge. Reach your knees away as far away from you as you can and hold for three, Hold for two, squeeze those legs together, three, and release on that exhale. Let's do a few more. This is called breathing. So big breath in to prepare, exhale to imprint and peel up and hold for three. You're pulling apart this towel, two, and one. Exhale, lower down. Big inhale to prepare, exhale to press up. Reach those knees away, squeezing the knees and the thighs together, pulling apart the towel, and exhale, lower down. Good. This time we'll leave the arms up where they are, and exhale, peel the hips up, come into that bridge position, and just hold right here. Let's bring the right leg into a tabletop position. So now we're on a single leg, trying to keep the pelvis and the hips nice and level. Set that right foot down. Pick up the left and hold, set it back down, march it out, right, set it down, left, set it down, keep pressing your hips up towards the ceiling, every time you set one foot down, press up higher, the foot that's on the mat is driving down, let's do two more on each side, moving along with a nice natural breath here, down, hips are up, and articulate down, nice and slow, letting your tailbone get as close to your heels as you can. Are we feeling our glutes and hamstrings at all, ladies? 
All right, so we're going to go back up one more time. So let's take a nice big breath in again. Get nice and long through your spine. And on your exhale, imprint your spine. Hollow out your tummy. Peel your hips all the way up. Now this time, we're going to reach the arms back behind us, keeping the back of the ribs pressing down so you're not flaring your ribs up towards the ceiling, knees reaching away. You're going to take right leg into tabletop and then point your toes, straighten your leg, point your toes, and we're going to poke little holes in the ceiling above us. We're going to lift up an inch, lower down an inch. Lift up an inch, lower down an inch. Up on the inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, pressing that left foot down into the ground. You feeling your left side? Might yes. even be feeling that IT band on the left side. Last one. Set it down. Readjust, level out your hips. Let's bring the left leg in and all the way up and poke little holes in the ceiling. Up and down. You'll notice that Dixie's knee is a little bit more bent than Melissa's, mine's a little bit more straight than Melissa's. We're all kind of working at where our bodies are at, or our flexibility in those hamstrings this morning. Two more. Good, bend that leg, set your foot down. Let's bring the towel back over our eyes, and on the next exhale, just melt your spine down, one vertebrae at a time. Nice. All right, so from here, let's just do a little stretching. So let's bring our right foot into the towel. Your left foot could stay here on the mat bent, or you could straighten it all the way out, depending upon your level of flexibility or how much you want to work this morning. Just pulling back on that right leg, trying to bring your thigh and your shin as close to your upper body as you can. Now from here, I'm gonna let my right hand grab both sides of the towel. I'm gonna to bring my left arm out to the side to a T and open my right leg out to the side for a nice little side stretch. So try to keep your torso or your box hip hip, shoulder to shoulder, that's your box, anchored on your mat as you open up into this stretch. Then we'll come back through center. Now we're gonna let the left hand take control of the towel. The right arm is going to go to the mat, and you're crossing over. So here, you should feel this on that IT band. Yep, so for most of us, it's really tight. If you flex your foot, drawing those toes down towards your shin, you're going to feel it even more. Good, let's come back to center, and we're going to switch legs. So go ahead and just make a transition to switch. Left leg up. So think here about trying to keep your box, your torso, your upper body from your hips to your shoulders, nice and square and solid on your mat. As we make our transition to holding the towel with the left hand, right arm going out to the side and opening up. So I'm really working hard now at trying to keep the right side of my ribs and my torso pressing into the mat as much as I can. So I'm not letting that leg take my whole body over to the left. Let's come through center, grab the towel with the right hand, move into that IT band stretch here. So again, if you flex your feet even more, pull your toes down towards your shin. back to center. You can take your foot out of that towel. And from here, ladies, we're going to roll up. So we already did our roll-ups. Just reach your arms back behind you. Bring it overhead. Start to just peel up your spine. And we're going to come into a position for rolling like a ball. So you'll bend your knees. Okay. What we're doing now is we're going to go into um, kind of a little variation or play on our abdominal series. So now we're going right into abdominals, now that we're nice and stretched and warmed up. Okay, so for rolling like a ball, most of you know, you want to be on your balance point. So balance point is basically the point on your tailbone and your sits bones where you feel the urge to lift up your feet. So I don't want you to lift them up yet. I want you to get to that point 
kind of how when we were rolling back, you get that lower lumbar to roll back. Now you're gonna lift up your feet, keep your knees open, and I want you to pull the part on that towel. Get your shoulder blades to pull together, and you're gonna draw your heels in towards your bottom, tuck your, your forehead, excuse me, in towards that little space between your knees, and you're just balancing. Now from here, watch me one time, ladies. We're gonna roll back and into double leg stretch. So now you see it's just my back that's on my mat, my head and shoulders are lifted, and then I'm gonna come right up to my rolling like a ball position, okay? So if you need to bring your feet down, you can. If you need to modify with bent knees, you can. Whatever works for your body. Let's go for 10, are you ready? Here we go, roll it back. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, come back up, try to find your balance and tuck in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it 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 in. Four, pull it in. Three, pull it in. Two, pull it in. We're gonna hold it out this time. One, and hold here. Bring your knees in and set your head down for a rest. Are we feeling those abdominal muscles? All right, so now we're going into our single leg stretch of the abdominal series. So instead of using our hands to do that little pull of the knee in, we're gonna use the towel to help us. Okay, so we're gonna let the left leg, let's go up with the left leg to start. The towel is right at the top of my right shin, and I'm just kind of pulling on it. And then we're gonna tip the left leg away, go to whatever you feel like your working level will be as you curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Now I'm gonna tug that right leg, tug it and switch. Let it go and switch like a bow and arrow. Tug, tug, and switch. Tug, tug, and switch. Tug, tug, switch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more sets, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pull the knees in and set your head down. Okay, now we're going into our scissors. So this one, it's really gonna challenge those low abdominals. So we're gonna let the right leg lift up. The left leg is gonna go out to your working level. You'll curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Gaze down at your left toes. Now I'm gonna to try to shave the towel up towards my ankle and then switch. Shave it up and switch. Shave it up and switch. Shave it up and switch. Dixie's got a nice variation going on with her feet coming down onto the mat with bent knees. So you shave it up, like you're trying to shave the hairs off the lower part of your leg. Yes, feeling those low abdominals really start to kick in. We've got one more on each side, ladies. And then just pull it in for a little rest. Nice work. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do in the last of our abdominal series is going to be uh, double straight leg lower lift. We are gonna use the towel to support our head and neck. So you're gonna bring the towel behind the very bottom of your skull, right on that occipital lobe, and you're gonna kind of pull up with your hands. And you should feel like, oh, I can stay curled up all day like this, because now your arms are working harder, okay, than your torso, right? You feel that? Okay, so from here, we're gonna either straighten the legs, straight up like a candlestick, or we're gonna go to a tabletop position, okay? Either way, the shape of your leg stays the same and you'll hinge from your hips. So curl up a little higher on your inhale, reach your legs away from you, hinging, and then exhale, lift them up and see if you can curl up even more. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, curl up more and lift the legs up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Only go as low as you can without that lower back lifting off of the mat. So if you feel it popping up, stop there. Let's just do one more. Come all the way in. And just bring your knees into your chest and let your head take a nice little rest. 
when you're ready, you're just gonna bring your chin to your chest, rock yourself up to a seated position. Nice. Now from here, we're gonna turn over onto our bellies and do some work to strengthen our back, our hamstrings, and our glutes, okay? So let's take our towels and make like a little cushion. So just kind of make a little cushion. And that's going to be for your forehead. And you can decide how propped up. You might want to double, um, double fold it. Can't see me. You guys are good. Or you could leave it out. So it's going to rest underneath your forehead. Now from here, I want you to bring your arms down along the sides of your body. Separate your legs so they're maybe a little wider than your hips. So that's going to allow your sacrum a little bit of room to breathe here. Okay, and then think about that Pilates V-shape we did with our feet to start. So even though your legs are separated, you're still energetically drawing your heels together. So you're externally rotating from your hips, okay? I want you to feel like you're just drawing your navel up away from maybe a cold ice cube that's on your mat. So you're engaged in those abdominals. Now, keeping your feet resting on the mat, we're gonna start with the glutes and the hamstrings. Because working your back, oftentimes, most of the time, requires lots of glutes and hamstrings, not just muscles that run along the spine. So I want you to keep your feet on the mat, but pull up on your kneecaps. So you're gonna engage your quads, pull your kneecaps up away from the mat, nice. Now from here, keeping your hips and your pelvis nice and still. I want you to just lift your right leg as high as you can, keeping everything else nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Think about reaching the toes back towards the wall that's behind you, and then lower that leg down, and let's switch. Take a big breath in, lift your left leg up, reach it back, so now I'm pulling on your toes, reaching that leg back, 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 and then lower it back down. Just do that a few times. Inhale to lift the right leg up, and hold, exhale to set it down and switch. Inhale to lift up and hold. Exhale to set it down and switch. So trying to keep the hips completely still. So a little less height now, so that you have more stability in your pelvis and your hips. There you go. Let's do one more time each side. Do you feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, more stability over a range of motion. And we'll set it down and just hold. Now I want you to try and lift both legs up at the same time. Think about reaching the legs longer, longer. The hamstrings are pressing up into my hand. The legs are getting as long as they possibly can, and then set them all the way down. That's a lot harder than it seems like it should be, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so from here, now we're gonna move into focusing on the upper body a little bit. So I want you to really think about the shoulders moving away from the ears and the triceps engaging just a little bit, okay? We're gonna keep that pull up on the kneecaps on the mat, lift of those abdominals, and just allow your forehead to kind of just lift slightly away from the, the cushion or the towel, thank you, towel underneath you, okay? And now from here, we're gonna on our inhale, just start to lift our chest off of the mat. Lift up as high as you can, keeping your feet down. Think about almost as if you're shooting out of a cannon. You're gonna hold up here for three, for two, for one, and then on an exhale, you're gonna lower back down. So again, on the inhale, you're gonna just lift the chest up. Lift your whole chest up. Your head is gonna stay in line with the rest of your spine. I'm gazing out at the mat in front of my towel here. Exhale, lower down. We're just doing that a few more times. Inhale, glide your shoulder blades down into your back pockets as you lift up. Hold here, Mel, bring your chin towards your chest a little bit more so the back of the neck stays nice and long. And now see if you can lift up higher without lifting your head. Yes, and then lower back down. One more time like that, ladies, and then we're gonna actually stay up. So inhale to lift up, and hold. Mel, bring that chin down just a little bit. Now don't move your head, just lift your chest up. You're holding here. We're gonna start to press the arms up and down, little pulses like the 100, okay? Inhaling two, three, four, five. Exhaling two, three, 
four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, press the backs of the arms up towards the ceiling and squeeze them in towards your back. Now lift your legs up. Really pressing your hips into the mat. Staying nice and still as you're breathing in for five beats and out for five beats. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Let it out and just hold. See if you can press your legs and your arms up just a little bit more. Feel those glutes turn on even more. Good, now lower the legs down. Bring the arms down, keep the chest lifted. See if you can lift your sternum while still keeping your ribs pressing into the mat from here. So the bottom of the ribs are still pressing in, but your sternum is lifting, you're gazing up at the top of your mat. And then lower all the way back down. Let's bring our hands to the outside of our shoulders or our chest. Push up onto your hands and knees and sit back into a child's pose. So really rounding the back here, tuck your tail. Try to hollow out your tummy away from your thighs. So you're creating that roundness like a cat back, stretching out the low back as much as you can. Good, now from here we'll walk our hands forward. We're coming down onto our bellies again, resting our forehead gently on the towel. Arms are forward this time, and legs and arms are gonna be parallel. So we're not gonna be in turnout, arms reaching long in front of you on your mat or on the floor, pulling up the belly button, really starting to engage those abdominals right out the gate, pull up on your kneecaps. Now from here, we're gonna swim. So still focusing on those back muscles, we're gonna lift right arm and left leg. And when you do, I want you to bring your gaze up. Think again about reaching the arms and the legs long, not how high, but how long you can get them. And then you'll set it down and switch. And you can keep your head up or you can lower it down in between and switch. Inhale to lift, exhale to set it down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift right arm, left leg, hold. Look out over your mat. Now, other arm and leg come up to meet it and we are gonna swim. Okay, so you're fluttering those arms and legs, keeping the pelvis nice and still. Inhaling for five and exhaling for five counts. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, lift a little bit higher and lower all the way down. Go ahead and bring those hands back towards your ribs, push up. This time, we're gonna really let the spine go long as we sit back into more of a traditional child's pose. So really elongate through the spine, reaching the arms away from you on the mat as far as you can, getting a nice deep stretch through the entire back. So this traditional child's pose, without that roundness and the flexion of the lower lumbar spine, is gonna give your lats and some of these muscles <clears throat> excuse me, on the middle and upper back, even more stretch. <coughs> excuse me. Let's go ahead and roll all the way up. And we're gonna just stay on our knees and go into a little um, quadruped position here, making our way into our plank series, okay? So let's take the towel and bring it back to how we started so that it's nice and long, okay? And then from here, you're holding on to it, and I like to kind of tuck it up between my thumb and my pointer finger, and then I'm gonna bring it down on the mat underneath me so that my wrists are right under my shoulders, my knees are under my hips, and I'm in this quadruped position, okay? So I really want you to get that feeling, though, again, of kind of pulling apart on the towel. And sometimes it might help to make fists kind of Get a little bit more tension. Just depends on your wrists. You might not like that, but kind of see what works for you, okay? So let's start with our head in line with our spine again. So think about uh, Mel bringing your chin down, yeah? So that the back of the neck is as long as the rest of the spine. 
Dixie, I want to see if you can soften your heart, yeah, down towards the mat. So now we lost all that flexion up here. We're more in the neutral position, okay? And from here, we're going to just go into a nice cat cow to get warmed up. So I want you to take a big inhale, send your tailbone back towards the fireplace behind you, arch your back, and look up towards the camera. And then on your exhale, you're going to curl the tail round the spine, hollow out your tummy, pull your forehead up towards your belly as much as you can, and then inhale, fold that tailbone back up, arch the back, look up towards the camera, and then exhale to curl and bring it back in. Do that just a few more times. Inhale, and exhale. Start to curl from the tail as you round the back. Push the back of your ribs up towards the ceiling like you're gonna make an imprint on the ceiling. Inhale to come forward. And now exhale, we're gonna round and just hold here, ladies. So you're gonna really try to pull your forehead up towards your belly, stay nice and round. Bring the balls of your feet to the mat. And now we're going into some knee hovers. So you're gonna stay round. Stay trying to keep pulling your forehead up towards your belly. Lift your knees off the, back, off the mat just to a low hover, just a few inches. And then curl in and up even more. Hollow out that tummy. Feel all those abdominal muscles. And then set your knees back down. Take an inhale, lengthen out your spine, gazing forward. Exhale, curling from the tail, low back, middle back, upper back. And hover those knees up and just hold for a three. Get in deeper for two, for one. Lower down. Take a big inhale to lengthen into that extension. And exhale, curl the tail, hollow it out. This time we're going to come up and hold. Hold. Hold, set down just your left knee, send your right foot back on your mat so you're in a modified plank position. Come into a neutral spine, looking down at the mat so your back is nice and long. I want you to imagine that your arms, your hands are a goal post and your knee, Mel, is a soccer ball trying to go right between that goal post. So I want you to think about trying to energetically without moving your left knee pull that left knee up and try to make a goal as the heels of your hand are energetically pulling back you should feel more work coming into the center of your body keeping the hips nice and level drop this hip just a little bit there you go nice now from here lift that knee up and hover it send it back into your plank keep those hips nice and level send it back into your plank hold for ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee comes all the way down. Again here, we're gonna try and make a goal with the right knee this time. So energetically reaching that right knee up towards the goal as the heels of the hand are pulling back towards the ball, that's your knee, and bringing all that energy into the center, getting strong in your core, lifting that knee up to a hover, send it back into your plank, now this time, we're going to bring the right knee forward, not on the mat, and then set it back. Right knee forward, set it back. Left, set it back. Right, set it back. Hips and pelvis are nice and still. If you need to modify, you can bring the knee down, set it back. Bring it down, set it back. Bring it down. Or you just keep lifting it. We're gonna do one more on the left and the right. And then hold, push up to downward dog. Try to walk your feet forward if you need to to get your heels to press down. I want you to pull apart on your towel. Pull it apart. Spread out your fingertips if you can. And let's lift the right heel, push the left heel down and switch. So we're just walking it up, pedaling out the heels. And switch.
just going through this sequence again. Try to keep your hips and pelvis nice and still. Pulling that knee up. Last set here. Finish on whatever side you didn't start on. Push your hips up into your downward dog. Let's pedal at the heels one more time. With a nice big stretch. You're pulling apart on your towel as if you're trying to pull it or snap it in half. It's that feeling you want to have on your mat as if you're trying to stretch your mat from side to side. I'm <laughs> kidding. Yep, and then let's come forward into plank down to our knees and just sit back and take a little rest. All right. So whenever you're ready, ladies, we're going to come up onto our knees. Okay. Come up onto our knees. I'm going to move forward. And we're going to bring our, I just want everyone at home to see, we're going to come to the balls of our feet with our heels together in a Pilates V shape. So this is what it will look like. Okay, so now come to the balls of your feet so your toes are curled under. Mm -hmm. My knees are under my hips, but I'm in external rotation, so there's a little separation. You should see a little space between your inner thighs here, okay? And I want you to get this feeling of really trying to wrap your outer thighs back towards your glutes to draw everything in to the middle. So it's that wrap of your seat, okay? And keep energetically pulling your heels together. So you should really feel your glutes and your hamstrings here, okay? Shoulders are right over hips, hips are right over knees, and we're gonna bring those arms out in front of us again, just the way we started, except for now we're on our knees, on our knees, excuse me. We're gonna do a little variation of a spine twist. So here, your goal is to keep your hips pointing forward to whatever's in front of you. As we take a nice big breath in, you're gonna lift your ribs up away from your hips, Exhale and twist over. We're twisting towards the leg, but both hips are still pressing forward. Now, inhale, come through center, get taller, taller, taller. Exhale, twisting over. So I'm going to the left, but I gotta get my left hip to still press forward towards the camera in front of me. Okay, come through center on the inhale, lift up, get taller. Exhale, we're twisting over. Now our right hip is pressing forward as we're twisting to the right. And then inhale, come through center. Exhale, bring out your lungs here. So I always say whenever we're twisting, I always say pretend you have a dirty sponge from your kitchen and you're, you're wringing it out. Well, now you have a towel from my cabin kitchen, okay, ladies? And I want you to feel like you're wringing out that towel, all the dirt and grime and grossness, but it's really your lungs as we twist. Exhale, push it out. Push all that old stale air out. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Yeah, let's just do a couple more. So Mel, we're gonna push this hip forward, yeah? And try not to lean back. So Mel's kinda got a little bit of a, she's almost trying to kinda arch her back a little bit as she goes. One more time. And then to the left. Again, another exercise that's harder, push that left hip forward than what it seems. Good, we're taking the towel, we're gonna bring it again behind the base of the skull, okay? Getting nice and tall, reconnect to those hamstrings and glutes. We're gonna do a little side bending here. So we're inhaling, finding that lift and that length, and exhale, you're gonna just go over to your right, trying to get your elbow as close to the mat as you can, but keep the left knee pressing down into your mat. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, over to the left, right knee is pressing down into your mat. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. I'm re-squeezing my heels together every time I come through center. Do you want a little more? Reach, stretch, bring it back, and up. Side bend, reach, bring it back, and up. So you can stay with just the side bend or add that little extra bicep to ear extension with the arms and that will make even more stretch through the side of the body that's stretching. We're gonna finish on our left side, ladies. 
bring it all the way up, bring the towel forward, and we're coming right up to a standing position. Right up to a standing position. So from here, I want you to just lift your arms up overhead. Think about your posture alignment. Think about trying not to stick your ribs up, almost as if you're pushing your ribs to the wall behind you. Pick up your heels off the mat. Find that balance. Now, open your heels away from each other, set back down into a neutral position. Pick up your right leg. We're gonna bring it over to the right and then squat back for a figure four. This is our little 4th of July tribute, our figure four stretch. So the more you can sit your hips back, the more you can think about drawing that knee down to the floor. The towel and everything here is just helping us to counterbalance. And then we'll just stand up and go to the other side. Get taller as you lower down and let your hips set back, yeah? And if a balancing sequence doesn't work for you, you can always just come down and do your figure four here. Bring the towel behind you. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. Let's go one more time with that right leg. You can even get a little shoulder chest opener by bringing the towel behind you. Opening up, scooting back as far as you can pressing those arms up, and then switch. Like I said, if balancing sequences aren't your favorite, you can always come down to the floor and do the figure four the way you would if you were on your back in a supine position. Come all the way up. And let's just bring our towel down onto the floor in front of us. Bring our hips right, or excuse me, our feet right underneath our hips. Take a big breath in and reach up. Exhale, sweep it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, sweep it all the way down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stay up. Just bring those arms all the way down. And we are all finished. Yay. Nice work, ladies. Thank you, so thank you to Dixie. <laughs> and Mel, Melissa, and we hope you enjoyed your 4th of July mat towel.